I'd like to get a few things out of the way before I begin this video. One, I am not saying that Undertale is a good game or a bad game. I have never played it, so this video is not going to be me talking about how I feel about the game or anything. This is just uh, this is just about its Cantor's fan base. And two, I'm not saying that all fans are like this. I'm just uh, I'm just showing off some of the cr cringy comments that the hardcore fanboys left on some videos that said Undertale sucks, even though the videos weren't serious. But whatever, I just like to show off the hardcore fanboys' stupidity and how they just plague the internet with stupid Undertale crap. But anyway, let's begin. Grab your popcorn, because this is going to be a fun one. I'm more focusing on the reply to this comment. Fucking agreed, dude. This YouTuber only wants to have more subs. He doesn't know Undertale is famous. What kind of sense does that make? Undertale is all over the internet. How can one not know Undertale is a famous game? I mean, really, all, all these cancer fanboys post about Undertale all the time on YouTube, any other social media, really. I mean, if the person didn't know that Undertale was famous, they wouldn't have made this video, you thick-headed imbecile. <laughs> this one's a funny one. Undertale is worst game ever. I don't know, I never played the game. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't care. Um, here's the reply. We don't need your opinion. <laughs> okay. I, I, this is what I love about hardcore fanboys of something, or someone. When someone speaks against that per that thing or person, uh, these fanboys come and say, No one asks for your opinion, no one needs your opinion. Uh, beca just because it differs from their opinion. So by that screwed up logic, wouldn't the fanboy's opinion be invalidated and not want to be heard because it differs with someone else's opinion? I mean... Uh, I, of course, logic is just non-existent in these fanboys, but that's really something they should take into consideration, and any fanboys watching this, you should take that into consideration as well. You're being hypocritical, and you don't even know it. When you, you know, when you say, no one asks for your opinion just because you're mad at someone's different opinion, by your own logic, no one cares about your opinion because, it, because your comment differs from their opinion. Might sound confusing, but you know, I'm sure anyone with a functioning brain will get what I'm saying. So, yeah. First, Undertale is more rated than you. Second, you suck. Third, you spit. Fourth, you swallow. Fifth, you should be burning in hell. <laughs> okay, first one. Um, what do you mean by Undertale is more rated than you? You mean, like, rated as in reviewed or something? I I'm assuming that's what you're going for. Um, um, you might mean something else, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're trying to say, oh, you're jealous of Undertale, jealous of a video game. I mean, I could kind of, sort of understand when someone says, oh, you're jealous of, of this person because you're speaking bad about them and they're more popular, even though it's a piss poor argument, at least I can kind of understand, you know, jealous of another person, but jealous of a video game? Really? Anyways. Um, we're going to go th through the second, third, and fourth ones because they're just stupid. Fifth, you should burn in hell. <laughs> okay, uh, anyone else find the thought kind of disturbing? Like, someone wishing someone would burn in eternity just for not liking a game they like? I mean, I know, like, I'm kind of, I'm probably overthinking this, but anyone else just kind of, just kind of find this a little disturbing? That someone would actually wish that someone would be burning and be in total pain and agony for the rest of eternity just for having a different opinion. I mean, come on. Video games are taken really seriously these days. Ser really. If you have a different opinion, oh, you're threatened, you get, you know, people threaten to kill you, they, they say all these terrible things about you, they call you names, just for not liking a game they like. What has the gaming industry become? My god. But, whatever. K-Y-S, idiot. <laughs> okay, I know it means kill yourself, but anyone kind of find it sad that you that pe so many people need an acronym to type in kill yourself now? I mean, you can't just type in three simple words. You gotta just shorten it up. When writing the whole thing could take, like, no more than five seconds. I, I just find it really sad. I mean, it's really sad that, you know, so many people say this now. It's like a big YouTube trend, telling people to kill themselves because they have a different opinion. 
once again, people take their video games way too seriously, and the internet in general way too seriously. If you, like, if you say something bad about another YouTuber or something, you're going to get one of these idiots saying, KILL YOURSELF! Yeah, I, I, yeah, because my life automatically becomes... Uh, 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 my life automatically has no value, just because I have a different opinion. <laughs> oh my god, these fanboys. Oh my fucking god, Undertale is awesome. Some people like me have crushes in the game, for example. I like Sans. Do you have a fucking problem with that, Bick? <laughs> okay, if any of you don't know who Sans is, I'll show you a picture of, a, of the character. Yeah, people. A skeleton with a jacket on. That is this girl's big crush. A skeleton with a jacket... <sighs> Uh, sorry for that, my brain just died for a split second. <laughs> okay, uh, I try not to knock people for liking video game characters, but I never got how people can. I, I, I like real people. I'm sorry, I just like real people, not fake, imaginary people in video games. I don't know. Uh, I like that they misspelled uh, bitch, because, you know... Typical Undertale fanboy, as they're like, what, nine years old? Well, this is a girl, so whatever. I'm sure she's probably like nine, maybe eight, um, maybe ten, I don't know. But um, I like the guy's reply. Earthbound is better. Wise man, your name is really, really fitting. I'm not taking it too seriously, but suck a pust, you semen-filled bick. What is with these Undertale fantards with misspelling bitch? Is it really that hard to spell bitch? You just have a I, you just have a T between the I and the C. That's not hard at all, but whatever. These Undertale fantards are like nine at most, so I wouldn't really expect them to use their heads and look, know how to spell properly, but whatever. Um, but um, I like how you say you don't take, you, you, you're not taking it seriously, or seriously, as you put it. Uh, but right after that, you tell them to suck a pussed, I know, I, mean, I know they're trying to say pussy, and to call them a semen filled bitch. But, um, I just find this funny. You, you, you say you're not taking it seriously, but then you, right after, you insult them, which was a piss poor insult, by the way, and get all butt hurt. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I, I, absolutely hilarious. And no, the person, the other person who misspelled bitch is not this, is not this person. They're two different people. So, yeah, it's really sad. You suck because you said Undertale sucks. So you hear that, people? So if you don't like Undertale and prefer other games, you automatically suck and you should hang yourself because you are a worthless human being. Of course, I'm joking, but, um, <laughs> this is also another funny comment. So, yeah, again, just a typical uh, fan tart of Undertale, probably nine years old, so... Yeah, nothing really much to say here, but, yeah, this is just a prime example of being butthurt over someone saying a game sucks, even though at the end of the video they say they like the game, but whatever. I, I, I don't really expect... Uh, Undertale fanboys have, like, the attention span of, like, two seconds. They can't watch a whole video. They just dislike because of the title, and they don't even give the video a chance. Freaking pathetic. Ain't care if joke vid, but this sucks. I don't, I don't really get, why do these people take their precious game so seriously? Grow a sense of humor. The video was funny, I'll admit, it was funny. The, the video was called, um, was literally called Undertale Sucks. It's the first thing to come up if you search it on YouTube, I guarantee you it's the first thing to come up. And I find it funny, but all these, all these fan tarts, they get so, so butthurt. Really, it's, it, it's almost like scary how butthurt people get over someone saying a game sucks, or just joking around about the game. <sighs> you expect everyone to take your game seriously? Really? And again, uh, just proving my point that fan that these fan tards are nine years old, look at the profile picture, and uh, the fan Stanley, isn't that based off of, like that little kid's book or whatever I read like back in second grade? Uh, what was it? I think it was Flat Stanley, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. This is the best game ever. Why would you hate it? If, though, you, like, don't know anything about games, GamerGod192. GamerGod192, maybe GamerNo666. 
my brain just shut down for a second. I'm sorry. Um, there's really not much to say about this comment. It's one of the worst comments I've ever read. I, I mean, I can't really make much sense out of this. It's so obvious it's written by a little kid. What does this even mean? Uh, all I get, all I see is like butt hurt in this comment. That's it. I can't make much sense out of it. It's just blind rage because someone joked around about a game and the title said the game sucks even though they say at the end they like the game. Jesus Christ, these fanboys. I save the best for last, people. Quote, mainly a joke video, end quote. You only shat on an amazing game. You didn't even do any part of it justice. Good job making an awesome game look like shit. I'm sorry, guys, but don't let this video make your decision. There's so much to this game, and this guy just hates on it. Find out if you like it. Don't let this guy control your view on one of the best games and best soundtracks of 2015. Even with it being 8-bit, it won multiple awards, and that... Uh, and that has to say something about it. Don't let this guy change your mind. Oh my god. Remember when I said people need to learn how to get a sense of humor? This! This is like a prime example of someone who doesn't have a sense of humor. The, the, the guy just joked around about it. I know you mentioned it in the video. They even said at the end they liked the game. The video wasn't meant to be taken seriously. Oh my god. This guy is just above and beyond stupid. You only shout on an amazing game. You didn't even do a put justice. Good job of making an awesome game look like shit. <laughs> um, this guy. There's so much to this game. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's the part I like. Find out if you like it. Don't let this guy control your view on one of the best games and best soundtracks of 2015. So why? So really, um, don't let someone talking bad about the game control your view. What about someone talking good about the game? You know, just getting all butt hurt over someone who, you know, who just joked around about a game. Really, I, I here's how here's how I am. I don't I don't really pay attention to reviews that much. Okay, I take reviews into some consideration, but I still buy a game because I want to see how it's like. I don't let blind hatred or blind fanboyism make uh, me decide on whether I should play the game or not. I try it out myself. And, really, why should people listen to you? You're obviously just praising the game, blindly. And, really, you say that you shouldn't listen to someone criticizing it, but we should listen to someone who just praises it, and thinks it's all perfect and everything. Oh, God, you fanboys. You make my head hurt. You really do. I'm probably going to go in a coma after this, because the stupidity is just way too much. Just way, way too much. If... It just goes to show how toxic a fan, ba a fan base is when they can't even take a joke. They have to take everything completely serious when it comes to their precious game. Get a sense of humor, people. It's just a video game. Stop taking negative opinions so seriously. And when people just joke around about the game so seriously, it's, it just makes you look pathetic. It makes you look like you have nothing. It makes you look like you have a really sad and pathetic life when you treat a game like a religion. Seriously, these people just worship the hell out of this game. I mean, my god. I know there are way, way, way more fanboys than this, and probably way more more toxic ones than the ones shown in this video. Who knows, maybe I might make a part two to this video. Don't count on it, but this just shows how idiotic and toxic the Undertale fanboys are. Ugh. Uh, uh, my my head hurts. It really does. I think I think I need to lie down. I need to sleep. I need to rest. Hopefully, my migraine goes away by the time I wake up. <sighs> That's all I have to say. Bye bye.